Hey guys, welcome to the channel, taking the bath, and the bathroom is on the place where you can place your gadgets in peace. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you can be notified each time I upload a video. Today, we're going to fly the Red Heron. Let's see what's in the box. Alright, so let's have a look at the Red Heron. And you can see the model number is U49C, 15 minutes of flight time. And at the bottom, it really points out all of the goodies, headless mode, nice camera. Man, I'm so excited about getting this quiet copter into the air. And on the back, you have a picture of the controller. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have in the inside. Alright, so on top, they have this look like specification sheet or disclaimer. Yeah, so it really points out the safety of flying the quadcopter. A certification card. And the user manual. I love the user manual that is written in color. It didn't open it up. It gives you all of the specifics. It gives you the operation of the controller. Everything that comes inside of the box. And some nice illustrations of the quadcopter. Let's go ahead and take the quadcopter out of the box. It's an okay presentation. Nothing I've never seen before. So let's just pull this top half off and see what we have at the bottom. And right off the back you can see that you have your accessory bag. Inside this bag you have like these little red tips. They are extra tips for the propellers. You also get a micro USB card. 4 gigs and you have a card reader right here your standard Phillips screwdriver and also you get a proprietary USB charger for your battery and you get a little cable to connect the quadcopter to the camera you get a full set of extra props and you get two extra motors in case you guys are there burning them up two landing gears and you get two batteries and these batteries um, are proprietary and you get 15 minutes of flight time and a nice camera man you know the thing I like about this camera it's not one of those pinhole cameras on the side you get a spot for your SD card and again the spot where you connect the wire from the camera to the quadcopter uh, you know there's a real glass on that lens people on that camera now to me so far this is the prize i absolutely love the template that they have on the controller take notes of the quadcopter makers have a template you just keep that template on there and it tells you all of the functions of the controller and speaking of the controller man it it feel really good in your hand very ergonomically designed i mean nice big buttons nice grip just a nice feel overall and you have your high and low in the back you have a spot for your batteries also your trim button is located in the back I mean I'm just so in love with this controller and here's the quad itself now just go ahead and just take this plastic covering off the quadcopter and really get a up close look at it now I feel like this thing in my hand the first thing I would say that this thing is really light old people would say this thing is light in the butt you have these nice big bright LED indicators at the bottom and you have all around this built-in propeller guard so this is built into the quadcopter itself I'm not sure about how I feel about that and that would be the space when you plug in the camera again the camera had to get plugged into the quadcopter you have a power button right on top of the battery slot so you have the battery slot and then the spot for the power button right there. Press and hold that. And the little notches for the camera. It's easy to put the landing gear on. You just go ahead and put them in the holes and then screw them down. I think screws are becoming so outdated because so many quadcopters just have the little snap-on landing gear. I think that's just the best way to do it again you just slide your camera onto the bottom of the drone like that 
and then one more time connect this wire from the camera in the back to the side of the quad like this it's really easy people as my six-year-old would say easy peasy lemon squeezy all right so have everything connected put the battery in just slide it in right there make sure you put it in the right way press and hold on the power button you have to hold it all right now you can really see those LED blankers at the bottom and the camera can be adjusted all right so let's get our controller turn our controller on turn the drone back on press and hold and we just want to bind it right quick and so you want to take the left stick and go up and down and it's bind and on your motors you want to come in and down and you're ready to fly all right let's take it for a flight all right guys so i brought it out to the park it's really really windy out here but one of the things i just want to go over again is the controller you can see i love this little template that they have on here it's really laid out you have the video button your photo button at the top and you can see i mean your headless mode to the bottom left to your bottom right you want to take off um and again when you go out of range you have an alarm in the back you have your high and low that be on the right side and on the other side is the trim and the way that the trim work is that you press and hold the trim button in the back and you press the side that you need it to adjust to so if it's drifting right i press the trim button and i press it a little bit to the left to compensate so man i absolutely love this template all right so let's see if this thing's going to fly in the wind let's go ahead and make sure that we have it on and bind And let's go ahead, arm it, find it. And you can see it's fighting the wind. We bring it back, I changed the rate. All right, let's do some flying. Hey guys welcome back so let me start off with my favorite part of the quadcopter which is the remote control i just can't say enough about this little template i think every drone or every quadcopter manufacturer needs to follow suit with this this little template is such a lifesaver and the control itself is so ergonomic a nice little grip right there nice big buttons right here you don't have to fidget to find anything just feel real smooth in your hand and we have the quad copy itself um, this is how you're going to get it right out the box script down without the camera or the landing gears i showed you guys in the unboxing how easy to put those two on i love it to death but i hate it to death what i'm talking about this is a great fly here are some of the things i love about it a if you hit something and the propeller get caught the motor's automatic shut off so i love that safety feature right there however 
because you have this and it's so light when you're flying it outside guys this thing cannot handle the wind I mean when I was out there and, and, and granted it's about eight miles per hour wind when I was trying to fly it out there I had a hard time keeping this thing up in the air and getting steady, foot, steady footage with it so definitely cannot fly it outside in any type of breeze that is definitely a no-no but here's the thing that saved it this is how it resurrect itself in my book flying this thing and on a calm day or better yet flying it inside the house or building oh man it's just so awesome it floats in the sky like butter i mean on a calm day or flying it inside i love it i mean if i can give it 15 stars out of 5 stars, I would give it 15 stars out of 5 stars just from its inside flight. But when you bring it into the elements and you try to fly it in the wind, I struggle to fly it. So I would love to give it 5 stars, but I have to take a star off of it because it did not perform well in the wind. Overall, I absolutely love it inside, but I wouldn't recommend it for outside. The controller, I love that. Another thing I want to say before um, I sign off guys is it comes with two batteries so that is a plus and the 15 minutes of flight is definitely a plus. Other than that guys, I would recommend it for a beginner like I said at the inside. I hate to be repetitive but do not bring this in any type of wind you will struggle. Camera quality, you can see, you better judge that for yourself. I mean it's not a DJI product, you're not getting 4K video, you, you're getting the um, type of video that you would get from um, other quadcopters but I love that I have a real lens on the camera which kind of um, help you with your lighting situations really a lot a lot of light into the camera you can see a little bit more detail hey it's your boy taking the bathroom thanks for coming to my bathroom and helping me review my gadgets until next time peace subscribe 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 don't forget to subscribe and also hit that notification button so you can be up to date with all of my latest videos